Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome to a new setup. So I asked you all if you wanted to see a try on haul of my Ivy Park um, splurge investment and I got a lot of people saying they want to see it. I really wanted to make sure that this was helpful in case there's another drop in a few weeks. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a try on haul of everything that I picked up. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys the sizing, how to style it, and if it's worth the splurge. So go ahead and keep on watching if you want to see more. Alrighty, so this is the first look. Let me tell y'all something. With this line, I really feel like it just spoke to me. I feel like the diversity that you get between like your wellness, being about your business with the blazer. If you haven't seen the drop, I'm going to like throw it here real quick. I feel like just the way that you can flow from like activities throughout the day is ingenious. <laughs> and this is one of the most comfortable fits. I'm going to tell you right off the bat. So these are the cycling shorts in the Degrassi green, I believe it's called. And then I have the bra in the neon yellow, which I'm so glad I got. I didn't really think I wanted it. My husband and literally told me over and over to get it and finally I got it at like the last second so I'm glad that I did and with these shorts I would recommend going pantyless <laughs> just letting it flow letting it be free I mean it's spandex you know we're here to work out so this is the first look and like I said it's very comfortable what I love about this bra is the fact that there's it says medium support I mean I'm a I'm a C cup. So this is a lot of support for me. Like these things ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and there's also like a little clasp in the inside of the bra so that the zipper can't come down so that you're not like, you know, overflowing in case you're extra blessed in this area you'll be secure if you wanted to style this for an outfit that you can actually wear around town i would just do an oversized t-shirt something real cute this is the blackest king motherland drip shirt which you can get on her website right now beyonce.com for the merch <laughs> plug in all the yonce tings or you can wear since it is getting colder outside like a long sleeve shirt um, this is my Chalambo long sleeve from Janae. So this would be really cute too. And then I just have the joggers with it for a nice casual fit, you know, running errands, wanting to look a little bit above average or just channeling your power and your energy. This is a look. So if you're wondering about the price, these cycling shorts are 50 as I checked the price tag, they're 50. And then the bra is 70. And $70 is kind of like on the high end for a sports bra. But for me, I feel like you're definitely going for like aesthetic. And aesthetic wise, it 100% pays off. Support wise, it pays off. I have like worn this while I was working out. And I think it's really good for like, you know, actually training, but doing yoga, which is what I did it with. <laughs> yeah. I was doing yoga when I wore this and it was slightly uncomfortable. So I would say you want something that's a little less structured for that. But if you're training and running and like hopping up and down, this is a really good bra. I'm going to have my measurements linked below just because I think it's really helpful when you can actually see the measurements of a person. Um, what I think is beautiful about women is no matter what you look like on the outside, like the way it sits on your body, the way like your body sits on your body it it really doesn't matter like numbers and size don't matter so I'll just say right off the bat I'm usually a large in shirts and a large in pants with this entire collection I was super surprised that on the women's side I was more of like a medium in the pants and the shirts depending on whether or not they fit big or fit small I was actually more of a medium now around my bust is 38 inches which is like pretty wide compared to most women so this bra is just a large because i knew i was going to need that and it's still kind of like sucking me in um and like i said i'm a c cup and then this what is this the cycling shorts these are a medium only because with where i was getting these clothes a lot of the sizes weren't in stock and so i kind of just had to like hope that it will work and because this has a lot of stretch to it i think a medium is actually a perfect fit i'm gonna show you guys the leggings next and i got those in a large and i think those are a little bit too big and they kind of fit weird in certain places but let me just show you what i'm talking about okay this is actually kind of hot i haven't seen this all together oh, 
Yes. Uh, okay, the booty isn't looking that popping in these leggings. And that's something I noticed about these leggings. They're like so, you know when something's so tight, it kind of pulls your butt in. I guess that's good if you have like a whole lot of ass. <laughs> it can suck it in. I feel like this minimizes my booty. And because I have like a little, a little peach, I kind of want it to pop a little bit more. All in all... <laughs> This is a nice fit. I really like this. <laughs> so this is the corset top and I actually am wearing this in an extra large. So my mindset with shopping was just like, get what you want and figure out the sizing later. Like maybe it'll work, you know, it stretches. And I know I'm a little bit larger on top because of my shoulders and like my back. So this fits perfectly to be an extra large. Like, and if I had ordered some of the stuff online, I think my sizing would have been off. Seeing it in person really helps me understand like what I needed for my body type. This is an extra large and it's $70. And then these mesh tights, which are just oh so fabulous. The see-through mesh right here is so pretty. These are 85 and these are in a large. I have done yoga in these and they do pretty well. Like they kind of like flip over a little bit, but besides that, they do pretty well. And y'all, let me show you how serious I am about my fitness journey right now. Like I've never had a fitness journey outside of taking, like partaking in sports. So this is my first time where I'm like getting the help of a professional and I'm working with someone called Body by Tati. She sells super affordable meal plans and like fitness workouts on her website website this is not sponsored none of this is this is just a whole lot of black girl magic but she recently released these like melanin toned resistance bands is this my yeah, this is kind of like my tone so i'm really trying to be like you know working out in the winter for my summer body okay trying to get these cakes up <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is really why I invested in the line because I knew I wanted to feel good about working out. And I think that this does an excellent job of making you feel good while you work out. Why y'all didn't tell me the light was in the last clip? All right, so this is like a little bit of a swaggy fit. This is like literally the last thing I picked up because I just wanted something that had the Ivy Park on the sleeves. I didn't get the mesh bodysuit. For me, I have no idea where I would ever wear that. I'm trying to be casual. Um, I want to be casual. And if I want to be dressed up, then, you know, I just have no clue. Well, it's not even that I don't have a clue. I don't have any items or know where to get any items like a skirt to go with that mesh you know, bodysuit. So I opted for like the playa playa hockey jersey type thing. This is what it looks like. It has a low bottom and a high top so you could wear leggings with it. I wanted to wear the cycling shorts with it, but I think they're a little too short. Like they basically get covered by the top. But the way I see this is if I do work out outside during the winter months, like this is something that I would put on or I would throw on on my way to the gym or if you just wanted to get some nice pictures, you know, downtown, <laughs> you could wear this. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little swaggy hockey jersey. It's so cute. And I have it paired with the super sleeks, which are like the one shoe that I really, really, really wanted. These are 120 and this is 100. But this is a gender neutral top. I got it in a small. Um, the website recommends that you size one size down from your normal size for the gender neutral line. And I'm typically a large in shirts, but when I saw how big the mediums were, especially this, like this is already, like this is an oversized gender neutral piece. I was like, nah, I don't want it like down to my knees. So I got it in a small and it fits perfectly. I have super long arms. I'm 5'9", um, and it fits my arms with like stuff to spare. So I really like this fit. Y'all tell me what you think. Um, again, this was something that Vernon talked me into. I was like, uh, should I? Should I not? And he was like, just put, put it in the damn bag. Just get it. And I was like, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I'm changing into my next outfit, but this is like an unexpected look. Like, maybe not on its own. Like, some type of, like, crop top shirt. Like, I can see, like, a long sleeve, white, maybe even off the shoulder, kind of like cut off crop top. Or you can wear a like white see-through tank top and kind of knot it in the front so you can see the bra like peeking throughout the tank top. When I saw this outfit, I was like, oh, this is perfect. This is so Kenya. A butterfly. Just flew by my window, okay. <laughs> I felt like, wow, like this is so Kenya. You get a little bit of cute, you got a little bit of casual, you got a little fitted, you got a little loose. Something I am really good for is wearing some loose fitting clothes. Like I'm really trying to like 
get into wearing tighter clothes. Um, and so this is like a happy little medium. So this skirt is actually, <laughs> speaking of medium, this skirt is actually a small. And that's because like I said, when I went shopping, all they had were like smalls and extra larges. But because it had stretch, a lot of the things here do have stretch. I felt comfortable with it. Um, here's where it sits, you know, with my little booty. So it's not bad. That's like at least three inches, I think, of like coverage. I just have to be very, very careful when I'm sitting down. And my favorite way to style this is just to go ahead and dress it up. I feel like it's such a unique dressed up outfit that it makes it even more like surprising when you got a little boop pop of a heel right there. This whole video is full of 100% black women owned companies, women in their purpose, black girl magic. Yes, all the things. So these are by Salon Monet. They're a nude heel that's meant to complement your melanin. So they have like really, really deep tones because nude should go with your skin tone, not just be one color. Put on a red lip, get a cute little bag. Oh my gosh, um, I just found a black owned purse company on Instagram and they have like this really cute like little blue bag. Maybe not blue, maybe like a little pop of pink or something I think would be even cuter. Oh my God, that's a whole fit right there. I'm gonna put the little picture right here. And girl, that's a date night outfit. That's a girl's brunch outfit. Maybe even a vacation outfit. Who knows, depending on where you're going. So this top is in a medium, if I haven't said that already. I feel like a large would have been way too big. And I noticed online with the measurements, I'm like kind of in between a medium and a large. So I only got larges on things that I felt would be like a really, really tight fit. And this top is 85 and this bottom is 85 as well. And as you can see, it says Ivy Park on the sides. I really love this outfit. I don't want to take it off. Next up, I have the knit bodysuit in a medium, actually. So this bodysuit has so much stretch to it. Wow. <laughs> Even with it on, like, it's so stretchy. I definitely think you should have a backless, strapless bra for this bodysuit. On me, I just feel that because there's really no structure to this, like all it is is like cotton, like knit fabric. There's no boning to kind of suck you in. There's no like designs that kind of makes the waist appear smaller. So because it's just literally just like your body, <laughs> I think it's better to have a little coverage up here. Without the bra, it looks a little dumpy on my body type. Um, so I just need to get a backless strapless bra. The green bodysuit with the green joggers with the three stripes on the front. And then you got the Ivy Park in the pocket on the back, which it is a functioning pocket. These are a gender neutral piece and I got them in a medium. Most of my gender neutral pants I got in a small, but these specifically because they're more of like a, a tighter bottom. The small was a little bit too small. So I got them in a medium just to get a little bag because I feel like a little bag equals a little swag, okay? Like you get a little, I don't know. It gives it a little flavor when you have a little, a little bag on it. So to go with this, I actually did purchase the matching crew neck and I was so obsessed with this outfit. This was really from this line, I only wanted two outfits. I wanted the brown like half crop with the bell bottom pant because I love bell bottom jeans. And I wanted this all blue, like taking me back to the Rev Run, like Run, <laughs> Rev Run. <laughs> taking me back to like the Run DMC, like Adidas vibes, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the bucket hat, like it kind of had like Kango vibes. You know, this is me, this is a vibe, okay? This right here, this, this is all you need. I mean, let me get the thumbnail real quick. Hold, hold up, hold up. Now, let me, let me get the little lean. Man, I wish I had the bucket hat. <laughs> it would set it off. Like, And I thought the brown bucket hat on the creamy ivory side would have really set this off. Instead of the blue, although the blue would definitely set it off. But like, you know, an ivory bucket hat would be real cute with this. Man, I love this. Okay, so this I adore. I should have gotten this in a small. I don't know what in the world. <laughs> well, I know what made me pick up a medium because they recommended that you size down one size for the gender neutral. And I really wanted to wear this as it was meant to be worn, like a little bit big. But I mean, this is hot either way it goes. But I do also have the neon crew neck in a small and this is kind of like more of a fitted look for me. That's my fault. But honestly, at the end of the day, it works like 
really you could do anything with this i love this outfit it's the details for me the dark green ivy park like the matching stripes on the side the stripes down the front instead of the back um the pocket once i saw the pocket i was sold i was like oh yeah these are mine i'm getting this so as you guys can see i got a lot of items from this line and it's so crazy because the first time ivy park came out last year I was not checking for it at all like it was a beautiful collection don't get me wrong the colors just didn't really resonate with me to be honest and also I kind of felt like mm, can I afford that like is it that necessary you know to have lounging athleisure clothes that are that like fancy and I think it's crazy how far I have grown spiritually and emotionally and just how much I've healed in the past like year or however long it's been I think it's been like a year and a half since it last like dropped because this time around when it spoke to me I really feel like this line was made and this is my perspective you know this is this is my purpose talking this line to me was made for a boss like you got the blazer so you can go into the office and like have a meeting you got the athleisure that you can wear at home and still feel good about yourself like for me personally whatever I wear when I'm at home working on YouTube we're working for my clients like it really translates into the quality of work that I do so if I feel good put together I'm matching you know my hair is fly I'm gonna be vibrating at my best and giving my best to my clients or to y'all and that's really what I was looking for because a lot of my like lounging clothes are from high school or from college which was like literally like five years ago like you know it was time to level up physically i've done so much leveling up mindset wise and i just really wanted like my physical to match the inner and with this the fact that i was able to splurge and really treat myself to this investment in my wardrobe because this is a whole wardrobe like all the ways that you can mix and match these pieces like this is like a whole new leaf <laughs> in my style and i don't plan to always wear them like matchy matchy together i do plan to kind of like mix them up with other things as i've been trying to show you guys how i plan on doing that i'm just so grateful and blessed not only was i able to purchase the items with my own money for my own business for my own financial planning and like being really about like investing my time and energy into what serves me but I also allowed myself to receive it and I feel that whenever anyone offers something at like a higher price tag but like it's worth it not everything that's high is worth it if someone's offering you a quality experience and like the price tag is you know conducive to that experience it's giving you the opportunity opportunity to level up. When I offer my coaching, I'm giving the women who join an opportunity to really level up in what they think is possible for them and what they allow themselves to experience. And I feel like Beyonce gave the girls an opportunity to really level up. Like, oh my God. <laughs> and I feel it. And in the past, even if I had the means, um, I'm not sure how much I spent. I'm pretty sure, I know I spent maybe near 3000 I'm thinking that's about how much I spent. I would be happy to invest $3,000 back into my business, to invest $3,000 into like coaching or courses that I can use to become a better person or like books or something that you really can't physically see on me. But it has been a real journey allowing myself to receive like clothes and things that actually make life easier. And I'm just proud of myself. Like I'm really just proud of the growth. And that's why this for me is like, a true investment it's not only an investment in my business it's an investment in myself it's a spiritual investment I purchased and went all out because spirit told me I could do it so I did it no questions asked <laughs> but it's also a manifested reward of all the hard work I have been putting in over 2020 for the past however long because I rarely do I splurge in myself like this so it's kind of like the beginning of me allowing myself to really receive nice things and I showed you guys in the vlog how I went on like a beautiful like luxury mansion um vacation that was gifted to me honestly and that's been a part that was also manifested like that's really been a part of my work and finally allowing myself to have what i deserve if you're beautiful on the inside why don't you deserve to experience that on the outside as well like as within so without or as above so below that's why this is so important to me like the clothes look beautiful yes but it's also the levels of me getting here is the fact that not only this year in 2020 did I spend 
thousands of dollars in paying down debt and really getting myself on the best path possible to my goals. But I also took time to take that same money and invest it in myself as well. And it's so easy, I think, at least something I've observed for me, it's really easy for me to pay a bill or to give money to something that doesn't necessarily like make my life easier or make me feel more comfortable. And this was really a testament of the fact that, okay, I can also spend money on what pleases me as well as work. You know, like there has to be a balance and that's how you create harmony and that's really how you create more because what I invest into myself comes back to me divinely multiplied so it's never a waste I'm gonna go ahead and change into another outfit before I continue to talk y'all's head off this isn't the complete fit but I just want to show you guys these cargo pants these are the gender neutral pants and I have them in a small I love, love, love these pants. This is an unexpected love. Like, I literally love these pants. I would buy them in every color if I could. And here's what they look like on the bottom. Because they just fit so well. Like, I feel, like, so swaggy but still so comfortable. And all the pockets that are functional are just really, really cute. These pants are $85. I got them in the brown color as well as the green color which you can see right here. I really, really wanted the bell-bottom pants that came with this outfit. Like this was one of the two outfits that I just had to have once I saw it because it just spoke to me. And I couldn't get the bell-bottom pants because I don't think they ever even were delivered to the store that I was getting my stuff from. I don't feel too bad about it <laughs> now. <laughs> um, when it happened, I was, I was a little sad. But let me put this on so y'all can see the the whole fit together because it's cute this was basically like my consolation prize because the bell bottom pants weren't in stock but they look really good together so cute so cute oh god i love this look okay this right here this is like a must-have okay from the line i think this is the most i won't say it's the most unique <laughs> hoodie because I'm sure this has been done before but it just fits so good I love how like you get a little bit of bra peak and that way you can put anything underneath this honestly I didn't get this bra until like almost my last day of shopping so before I wasn't even gonna wear this bra I was gonna wear like a black bandeau top or like a cream bandeau top kind of to go with the the tones and the vibe I think what would look really cute under this is like some sort of lacy like brown bralette like a, a melanin nude type bralette I think that would be so so cute especially if you got the bell bottoms because then it would be like more of a feminine like fashion look instead of like more of a a swaggy look but either way I mean you can wear lace and you know cargo pants who cares that would be really cute and the heel <laughs> that would be cute that would be a good little athleisure look but yeah it has this little like back in the back so you're not completely like showing everything especially because these aren't high-waisted and your stomach is out it's nice to not be naked all the time I like when there's like little peaks of skin and you can feel a little bit more comfortable with it a great feature of this is the hood you have the jumbo hood. So this was another item that I got in a large because I know my frame can handle it as well as like my height can handle it. And I really wanted to get like the full back. I noticed that the medium, it kind of stops a little bit higher than your back. And I wanted the full complete coverage. The medium also like it literally stops like, like here. And I didn't want you to see so much of the bra. Um, so yeah, I really, really love it. But the hood is like, such a cute little like you know it's a cute little accent so this is actually not necessarily my purchase this is vernon's purchase vernon is my husband and he really wanted to get he was so obsessed with the fanny packs it was ridiculous like he literally told me like 10 times to get a fanny pack and i'm just not a fanny pack type of girl like i don't even like wearing purses i have a little wallet and that's literally all i need i don't need any type of <laughs> purse accessory but he wanted to get the oversized fanny packs to use as a camera bag so right now um like whenever we vlog and stuff we have a bag like a little book bag that we put things in but this is like a more fashionable way to do it so i'm gonna show y'all I'm not doing anything right now. Just the whole look. It's a look. I don't really need to say nothing else. This is cute. I didn't think I was going to like it. I didn't think I was going to like it. 
but I really do, and I think it just goes with the whole vibe very well. Put your mask on, get your shoes on, you know, on the street. Boom, there you go. <laughs> That's how these clothes make you feel. You just want to dance. Like, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And if you're wondering, the oversized fanny is 85. This hooded shrug is 70 and so, so worth it. Lord, so worth it. <laughs> and then, like I said, these pants are 85. And I also got the gender neutral hoodie, the brown one as well. Oh, it doesn't have a pocket. <laughs> I just realized that. So it doesn't have a pocket, but it does have these cute little like, I don't know, clamps. So you don't have to like pull your hoodie. You can just go like that. You don't have to tie the hoodie up to keep it tight. You can keep the strings hanging and just, you know, clamp to your likeness on how tight you want the hoodie to be. This honestly is just so comfortable. Like this to me is really like autumn, like waking up, getting on your grind early, like rolling out of bed, getting on the computer, answering emails. I paired it with the night joggers because I think that's a really cute look, like an on the go type look. I did also get the duffel bag which comes in so many ways to carry it. I didn't even know it did. <laughs> you can carry it on the shoulder. You can also just carry it in your hand, you know, like the typical way to carry a duffel bag. And then what's really dope is you can put it on your back like a book bag. And I think that's really cute. All right, so I have a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> so, I wasn't just shopping for myself when I was shopping for the Ivy Park line. I was also shopping for me, for you, yes. <laughs> for Vernon. So I really wanted to show y'all how the gender neutral line like looks on men and women. So what mm -hmm. size shirt do you have on? So right now I got a one X on and the shorts I have a two X. <laughs> and so we got the extra large because he wanted more of like a fitted look mm -hmm. and typically you're what in shirts i'm normally a 2x a 2x yeah. and then in pants what are you normally saying 2x okay 2x yeah. even for vernon who's like a pretty bulky guy <laughs> we did that right on cue <laughs> he's pretty you know like he's a strong guy but he can even size down in this line so i really right. do think there's a lot of room to work with with the sizing which is amazing with this fit i just love the the matchy matchiness of it it's like a little tennis outfit you know i can see myself out on my my tennis court <laughs> but i have the neon crew neck which is 85 i got it in the small like i said because i felt like this for me was the perfect fit so the blue crew neck i got in the medium so it was a little bit longer and a little baggier um a little bit longer in the arms and then the gender neutral shorts i got in a small they're perfect in a small and these are 75. so we're in the matching fit as you can see we're twinsies right now okay. <laughs> and i promise we'll only wear this together one time so I have the, well, we both have the dark green crew neck, which is 45 with the shorts, which we just showed y'all in the neon yellow, which is 75. And then Vernon has his, <laughs> his camera bag. Yes. So tell, tell him why you got it in both colors. So honestly, for me, that brown one was just, mm, just, just so sexy. So I had to get it in brown. But of course, I mean, if you look at this green, it just, it just goes together so well. So that's why I had to get to. And so for me, I just have on the super sleeks because I feel. Oh. oh no no do it. Okay. I was just holding you. Mm. I have. <laughs> mm. I have on the super sleeks because I feel like these shoes again just go with anything. But the night joggers will look really good with it as well. And the reason why I got some of the gender neutral stuff too is because I am, you know, I can I can get fancy now. I can show a little leg, show a little curve. But I'm also a tomboy at heart, so this is just a really easy throw on lounge around the house. Again, we're all quarantined, so you really do need like pieces that make you feel good while you're in the house. And so this is kind of like just you know Vernon and I playing around at the park or something together. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we're coming with the last fit. This is the last fit. We're coming to the end of our journey together. But this jacket right here, I don't even know. Did I pick this out or did you pick this out? You picked this out. I picked. Oh, yeah. I picked it out. Apparently, I don't remember picking it out. Let me tell you, this I got this the first time I went to store. It was I was all over the place. I was just grabbing stuff because everything I wanted wasn't even there, and so I was kind of just buying stuff because I didn't want to miss out. But I am glad that I got this jacket because. 
I think it goes well with the whole like early rising workout type of vibe. Like you throw on your, you got your bra, you got your pants, you got your shoes, got your duffel bag, and then you're out the door. Um, so what's really cool about this jacket is you can pop the sides. Baby, you want to pop it for me? That's right. Remember how I like it popped. Let that backside pop. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give you a little show to action, you know. Little show. <laughs> Why are you laughing at no, me? No, it's funny. <laughs> okay. Let's but yeah, it. so you could actually buy the track pants that go with this. I didn't. I just I just didn't. You know, I wasn't really feeling the track pants like that. They weren't that essential to me. Um, but now that I know I can wear this with the blue, I'm probably going to do that. So let me pop, pop one more. So I can just get a little. On the front. Yeah. One. All right. So this is giving you like the full effect. <laughs> Why are you hiding behind me? Oh, no, I'm just looking at you. Oh, okay. Good. But, yeah, full show the action, little show the shimmy. This is a size small in the gender neutral jacket, and this is $120. So, for me, I ain't gonna lie, literally the first time I actually saw the website, saw the items and stuff, yeah, this was a no-brainer. Like, I was really hoping they were gonna have this. Just like Kenya said, like, first day, they didn't even have everything. They didn't even have probably like a third of everything so it was kind of like where my jacket at yeah did y'all run out like did y'all sell out like come on y'all like i need this i got this thing <laughs> i ain't gonna lie like this junk makes me like so happy because it's like she wears it and it looks good on her true it's just it's it's perfect can i show the show the hood Shut up, baby. Oh, give, give him the full effect. Full blown, mm. baby. Give me a pose. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. You got to zip it. You going to zip this one or no? Yeah, zip yeah. this one. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Spooky season. Spooky season. What you talking about? Pull it out a little bit. Like, pull it apart. Oh, okay. Yeah. There, there you go. Woo! What y'all mean? What y'all mean? <laughs> if I run up on you, don't be scared. Oh, my God. <laughs> here so that was my entire haul it wasn't just for me i also you know me and my baby was up in there and i really like the fact that we can kind of like do things together too because like i said i can wear this jacket it's a little bit oversized on me but i can wear it too these little oversized fannies they work well for both of us and i also did give someone in my family a uh, outfit as a graduation gift as well it's a very versatile collection so let me know down below in the comments what are your favorite pieces how would you style some of these things did you cop anything let me know down below if you like this video go ahead and subscribe so you can see more from me in the future and thank you so much for watching i know this was a long one so thank you if you made it to the end bye i guess it's over yeah i guess it's over yeah okay bye <laughs> i'm feeling like the baby up in here <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> Marker, Ivy Park 13. No, Ivy Park take 13. Ivy Park take 15. <laughs> All right. Oh, is this blue? No, it's white. Go ahead, sorry. Is it blue or is I think it white? It's blue. It is blue. Yeah. It's, it's like to go a, with the, uh, the other one. Yeah, it's like a. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, I can wear it with my blue pants. Didn't even know that. Thank <laughs> you.